Hi from NI Week 2015. I'm Paul Heaney, Editorial Director of Design World. Uh, joining me here today is, is Jonathan Kretz from the University of Texas at Arlington. Jonathan, tell us a little bit about some of the interesting robotics things that uh, we're seeing here at the booth. Absolutely. What we're showing off today is our uh, mirror uh, application that we recently taught our Baxter robot. So if you look uh, over here, what we have is our Connect camera. So the Connect camera is uh, capturing Nimrata right now and what it's doing is, is sending that information uh, and that data is being collected by the NI uh, software which is uh, captured in LabVIEW and then it's translated through a ROS patch that was developed by Tufts University to then send that information to the Baxter robot and then essentially mimicking the responses that Nimrata is actually showing the camera now you can see that it's, those uh, actions are being reflected by the Baxter robot. And we can actually see that displayed on the computer here too. Do you want to point this absolutely, out? Absolutely. So what you see here is the uh, application Nimrata where she's standing. She has to be centered uh, specifically on a, a specific point. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you see that she's uh, at specific joints. She is being captured and then her motion is being reflected. So it's as if you're seeing here what you are now going to see that the uh, the robot then uh, reflects. So for our, uh, our users who aren't as familiar with NI products, tell, tell them a little bit about why uh, the NI product is so important in this particular application. Essentially it's the interoper interoperability between the NI software and the ROS capabilities that we've uh, used in this patch to make it work with the Baxter robot. So what are, what are the future plans for this uh, the particular project? There are plenty of applications that we see. Uh, there are harsh environments where humans aren't, can't be in the loop, uh, dull, dirty, dangerous tasks that a human still needs to take control of the robot. Uh, very important applications. Uh, we're, we're looking into all of them now. Sounds great. Thanks, Jonathan, for uh, the little intro. And uh, again, uh, stay tuned to www.designworldonline.com for all the latest engineering videos. Thanks for joining us.